welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. KKC Productions here. And I am doing a recording of something that I had a problem with today, which I'm going to pull up a image I got here. I got this error, critical error message that said the start menu would not open because Cortana and some other apps, they're not working. So it said, please sign out. And then it would automatically fix the problem. Well, as you guys probably watching this video already know, it does not work. So this is the error we're going to fix. I found a fix that takes it away without me having to remove anything. And open this up here on the side. All right. So here we go. Steps to fixing the critical error start menu and Cortana if they aren't working. So there's two ways you can do this. You can open up task by control alt delete and then clicking the task manager button and you can go to file run a new task and you can type cmd in and make sure you click start with administrative privileges click ok so that's one way you can open up your task manager here and if you want to open up task manager in a different way you can open up a file the easiest way, let's say you don't have any folders, you can click New Folder and just leave it. Open this up. And then you can click File here, Open Command Prompt as Administrator. So you can do that either way, it'll open it up just the same way. So to make this easy here, the first try I want you guys to try, this takes the longest, is you just type in the highlighted yellow one, which is the first step. You just type S F C space slash scan now. And what that'll do is it'll beginning scan system will take some time. So this is what that'll do. This will take a little bit. It'll have to scan through a lot of the processes. So what I did is I did this first, and then after that was finished, I came and opened up. You can still use the same task manager once that's finished. Is you can come into the second option here and type chkdsk space c and put the little dots there space slash f so it'll go through your folder so when you type that in it will automatically come up with a a system it says this because I'm working on the the one right above it and it's at three percent so when that's done what you do is it says check the next time the system restarts just say Type Y and click enter, and then it'll automatically do it when you restart your system. So once you could do that, it should automatically get your thing working. As you can see with mine now, I'm able to open it. So everything works just fine now. And that's really it. That's one of the fixes that I found that worked the best and not having and not having to create another user account or anything else to fix the problem. So we can see that that worked. And thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to click and subscribe.